Hello guys, we are here in lecture 17 which is covering the very important aspect of ABAB. You say it is a pillar of ABAB. So here it is. The two pillars of ABAB is mainly a work area and an internal table. There are certain things which you have to know before you code something by using work area and internal table. That is exactly what I'm going to explain now. An internal table is nothing but a stack where a bulk of records are stored directly. A work area is a part of the stack. You mean that the work area can store at least a minimum of only one record at a runtime. It cannot store more than one record, whereas the internal table can store n number of records during a runtime. Usually the records are fetched from the standard tables by using a select query. If the record numbers are more than one, they are directly put into the internal table and there is a possibility that you can directly put into the work area as well as bring uh, and bring it back to the internal table. The main understanding should be this way. You can never print anything from the internal table. If you want to print something which is available in the internal table, you have to bring that record to the work area and only then you can display that in the output. It means that as API is restricted, all the display things has to be happened only from the work area and not from the internal table. Imagine my internal table has got 10 records. I told you already that my work area is capable of holding only one record during a runtime. So at that time what it does is that first the work area takes the first record from the internal table and displays then the work area is cleared and it has been taken the second record from the internal table and it is displaying this process continues until the final record in the internal table is reached this is how exactly and work area and internal table works to train you further on this i'll give you a real time example which clearly explains you what it is all about you consider a CPU in the place of a work area and a CD stack in the place of an internal table. You always know that a CPU will have a single space for getting the CD, CD ROM. If you want to insert the second CD, obviously you have to take out the first CD. It means that you are clearing this space for the second CD and putting on the second CD for display. With the stack of CDs you cannot do any display processes, only the display is possible only when it is put into the CPU. So in this way you can understand the logic behind the work area and the internal table. We will go to the next slide internal tables. So I've already told you it means taking data from a fixed structure, you say a database structure and storing it in the working memory in ABAP. Always your internal table is called as the working memory. You can compare this internal table concepts with the array functions in some other programming languages. The main use or the main advantage of the internal table it is for storing and formatting data from a database table and within the program. That is a very important concept. So you have uh, three types of internal tables. One is the standard tables 
the other is a short sorted tables and the other is a hashed tables we'll see each and everything in depth standard tables so standard tables are something which has an internal linear index these table fields are accessed either by an index key or a key field the time it fetches the number of fields is directly proportional to the number of entries it is fetching we move on to sorted tables it is always saved in a sorted manner by the key it always works as per the internal index as usual it the records are accessed by the table index or the key the main important thing is that it uses binary search for accessing the database table the response time of a sorted table we say it is logarithmically proportional to the number of table entries the keys can be unique and non unique also we have the last category here the hash tables it does not have any linear indexes it is only accessed using a key the key must be unique it uses a special sort of algorithm called hash algorithm for accessing the records from the database table here the response time is not proportional to the number of entries it is always constant the internal table or dynamically declared in the data statement like a variable you can say the internal table in work area or something like the data statement to be declared like a variable as i told you from the diagram we can access internal table only with the use of a work area and here it is work area is a single record in an internal table it means that it is capable of holding only one record at a run time with this sh short understanding we'll wind up the process of internal tables and work areas whereas in the coming sessions we'll be seeing uh, a practical version of internal tables and work areas in detail thanks for watching